Today we are on Emma's room. Um, if you watched my stories yesterday, you know that I want to update those two doors. Um, what I did yesterday already, I started sorting the inside. So this is the little dress I painted and put all the little things in like underwear and socks, swimming gear, princess dresses. And I'm going to continue with this. Um, actually tidy. You see this one? Look, long sleeve, short sleeve, pants, clothes that are too big for now. Right, let's talk doors. So, those doors are originally from when the house was built. It's a built in wardrobe. You can see the molding on the ceiling as well as on the floor. And it's around 30 years old. So, we can not find doors that fit because they are really odd size. And we yeah, so it's either ripping it all out and laying a whole new floor or just doing something with what we have. And that's what I decided to do. So for this door, I'm opting for little dots. You can see here, I bought a whole bunch. Um, they're like little wooden plugs. You can, for example, use when you cut the doors, uh, door hinges, so you can sort of plug them back in. They come like in a pack of 10 and I bought 50 so i'm hoping this works yeah, it slams a bit in an unfortunate position and i'm going to be attaching it with a wood glue no more nails haven't used that one before but so far i noticed that it, i think it takes quite a while to dry so i think i'm going to start with that soon on this door before you know we can later paint there's actually nothing written it says 10 seconds oh yeah well this is actually Pretty sturdy but I did that like an hour ago just to test and for this door I think I want to replicate something like a sun a sun <laughs> sun rays going out so for that I got those really long beautiful wood strips they're actually quite good quality so they weren't cheap they were around 35 crowns per piece which is like two and a half meters um, which is around $3.50 but you can see, I don't know if you can, but they have really nice round edges. So um, good quality to make a base for the door. So I'm thinking, ooh, this is obviously too long and I have to cut them off, is do something in the diagonal up. So it also points to all the little dots on that side. So what I'm gonna do now is first, first I'm going to put all the dots on this door so it can dry and have something to paint later. And then to find the pattern, I haven't really come up with a pattern yet, so I'm just going to be freestyling it because we like freestyling. I'm just going to use some painter's tape. Um, it's around the same width as the actual wood strip. Well, a little bit thinner, but you get the point. And then I'll be taping up something on this door, measure it out, and then take it to the actual wood. So, yeah. Ready. So it was just enough. All the dots are sort of on here, quite random, you know, it's supposed to be a random pattern. And now I'm going to start with my painter's tape to try and paint up or tape up some sort of pattern that could resemble the sun rays. Fun times. Okay, so here we are. What I did, we have this little round cutting board. It's quite cool, right? We can put it in our round sink. If you don't know that we have round sinks, go and check some of the kitchen posts. It's hilarious. Not, but at least we have a round cutting board, which I could use as a tracer. Um, I had to think something, an easy solution, so I can have fairly square ends at the bottom straps. So, I don't, so they don't overlap and I don't have to cut too many angles. So I drew a half moon like this with my tracer. And then I just literally took little strips of that, as you have seen, and put them in fairly um, 
on the same distances um, coming off from that half moon or from that quarter of a circle. I mean, I didn't use um, a ruler to actually measure the distances in between, but I'm gonna just do it by the little strips and it all looked fairly good. Um, I was just extending them. So my next step is to actually <laughs> measure each of the strips with my half, what do you call that? Um, some sort of stick, measurement stick. I will use a measurement band, I think, because I broke this. I mean, how often do you, you know, I keep breaking them, like, it's awful. Anyway, I'll be measuring each of them, and then I will be cutting the rough, um, the rough length on each of the strips down in the garage, so I'm not going to show you that because it's, you know, it's not that interesting. But I'm going to add like 10 centimeters on each because later I will have to measure each of the angles we can see here um, and cut the ends to it. But I will be, so imagine this, it's really long so it's a bit difficult to show you. Okay, imagine this is one of the strips and then you can see the and I basically will make a mark on the actual wood and then take it down to the garage again and cut it off. But that seems pretty straightforward, right? Excited how it works. So now I'm going to measure it all. So, hey, here we are again. Um, I have now cut all the strips with a slight angle as we marked before on the door. And now I'm going to attempt them to glue them on there. There again, um, you know, seeing how I put all up those strips, great work, me. And then I also started already painting all the wee knobs. I'm usually using a small brush, it's just a lot easier to get really into all the little parts. I'm going to continue this now. Um, first, painting all the wooden pieces, and then. Done with painting, um, yeah, I'm really liking it, what it looks like. Now I shall be doing some little touch-ups on the middle section, because that's visible, so I decided to paint that one too. The outer frames, and then, I can't really open it right now, because it's still a bit wet, I'm going to fix the interior, and then I'm going to show you. Woo! One and a half day job, probably turning into a two day job, and we're nearly done. We are done and dusted. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just gonna give you a quick look inside. Chest of drawers, same color as the doors. A little basket with all of Emma's dress up dresses, her little shoes, boxes with shorts and other little things she's not wearing on a regular basis. More little toys, hats, you know, the whole shebang. Probably will add more of the toys she isn't playing by herself with, which is our puzzles. We don't really want to lose pieces because we like doing them. And then we have the actual wardrobe. Not bad, right? I'm really liking the result, considering this was a fairly budget makeover, and I think it really gave it a whole new look. Next stop, colors new wardrobe doors.